In this interesting episode, we're going to talk about the following two things. Number one, Kevin Hunt, uh, Kevin Hunt says this is what Bobby Mutawonga says that would have actually made me successful at Cars Achieves. And number two, uh, Sundowns has confirmed a, a, a man that is called Sporting Director at Sundowns who will be heading Sundowns as a Sporting Director or in the Sporting Director position. A man has got a rich experience having worked with the likes of Chelsea. Nevertheless, guys, if you are interested to know more, then please stick around because that's exactly what we're about to discuss in this video. For those that will stick around, guys, if you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Because the subscribe is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, guys, it is free of charge. So we're going to have to first start with Bobby Mutawong, promises Gavin Hunt, uh, heavens and the earth, in order for Gavin Hunt to join Uh You're going to hear... <laughs> yeah, nah. You gotta hear your for yourself because I don't want you to say I said this. So I don't believe the statement. When I got to when I got a call from Bobby Mutawong, my first thought was, why are you getting rid of the coach who came second in the league? Uh, Ernest Menendez lost the league in the uh, last 20 minutes. He did a good job. He lost in the Nepal Cup final, but I think they were tired of Mr. Menendez or whatever. My worry, my worry that that came in the, in the third was that the next season they will fire me if I came in the third name. But then the things that Bobby told me that I will be in charge of the team now, I now got convinced. They say give us the list of players that you need. It was a, a whole professional plan. The list of players I needed uh, got out somehow in the media. So there was a, a little bit of dishonestly from where I, wherever. Now, I was watching chips from the outside in the past six years and they needed a change. Um, they needed a change not in the coaching but in the personnel. The players I found there are still, okay, uh, I, I think I told you that one is a long story. Let's get into this one. Now, guys, okay, 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 okay. On the another video, guys, I told you that you see, when you hear that Kaza Chiefs is, is, is releasing players, Kaza Chiefs is uh, interested in signing these players, often that is done by uh, deliberately so, to create a hype. And uh, people studied that, né? they know how to create a hype around the team, turn the focus to the team, create currency to the team, you know what I'm saying? So it's not always where investigative journalism go there and crack a story. So, here I want to concur with I want to concur with uh, Gavin Hunt to say how, how is it that the names were leaked? You understand? When the people that knows the names was Gavin Hunt and Kazuchi's management, so it goes or it proves the point that I once told you to say. Sometimes that is done deliberately, deliberately, because the team wants to be seen as a team that is wanting to sign players, as a team that wanting to bring new players. So they create that currency and that's how the currency is created for the team. So in terms of Gavin Hunt maybe getting enough players to perhaps would have been a success, I just don't know if Gavin Hunt would have been a, a success, would have had a success in at Carlos Chiefs because I mean the, the, the type of football the type of football that he was playing, that's where the problem was. It was not necessarily about Gavin Hunt. But it was the type of football that he wanted to impose to Kaza Chiefs, and that was not the good of footballing style for a team like Kaza Chiefs. Now, jumping into our neighbor, our neighbor is Mamelo de Sundown signing um, a new sporting director. A new sporting director has got a rich, ex a rich experience having been worked with the likes of Chelsea in, look, in the English Premier League. So, it tells a lot about the man as well as an experience as worked with South Africa. He has been the scouting, he has been in the scouting department. So it tells a lot about what this man brings to Manuel Sandal. So which takes me to this point as well to say if you look at what Sandals are trying to do and what, what the new sporting director Kazuchi is trying to do, um, I'm interested to see because wow, the new sporting director Kazuchi as well is trimming the edge and is want to, wanting to buy young players. So um, what is it that these two teams are about to show us? Because both of them now have got the new sporting director and if you look at Kaza Chiefs uh, for this says when Junior Kazamatawan he started working, you could tell that the man is in the office, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he made things very clear that old players are leaving this team and we want to buy, buy young and experienced players and exciting. And he says 
changes are coming that is going to accept, excite the fans. So you ask yourself a question of, wow, where are we going right now? Because, wow, yeah, there's a lot to expect according to according to this uh, new changes. So you, you look, if you if you look at Manuel Sanders, they've been doing very well. So you're looking, you're asking yourself a question of why do you add a new sporting director? Because you've been doing uh, exceptionally well in everything that you've been doing. So why are you changing the new or why are you adding a new sporting director? It remains to be seen. But nevertheless, guys, you may have the the questions that are the question to the answers that I've just asked you right now. So because and I speak to knowledgeable fans because. I speak to knowledgeable fans, then I'm expecting those knowledgeable fans to get in the comment section below, guys, and then give us your thoughts, give us your knowledgeable opinion about the situation at Mamelo Sundowns, the situation at Kaza Chiefs. When you compare the, the sporting director department and what it is expected, and why do you think Mamelo Sundowns had to bring a man like that? And also, guys, don't forget the issue of Gavin Hunt at Kaza Chiefs. I'm not satisfied with Gavin Hunt at all. Um, you know, the only problem that I have with my work coming out is the footballing style. Number two, guys, it is there's something there's something very much important that as uh, say has been said about uh, Bobby Bomuta oh, promising heaven and the earth, but never to never to deliver them. And you remember that uh, the likes of Ronaldo Lutolonian left Kaza Chiefs because of Stuart Baxter. Remember the likes of Jimmy Tao left Kaza Chiefs because I mean sorry, because of uh Mutaum. Remember the likes of Jimmy Tao left Kaza Chiefs because of Bobby Mutaum. Remember uh, Square Shabalala was promised that he would go to go to Turkey when you come back you'll still come back to Kaza Chiefs but when you came back that never happened so there are so many promises that have been made by Bobo Mutaonga which were never kept so if you're looking at that he is so much inconsistent with his own words what's your take about that guys because I feel like in, in as much as yes I can blame Gavin Hunt for his uh, not playing the football in style that he was supposed to he came to Kaza Chiefs to, to apply or you know what I'm saying not beautiful football style but I also feel that you hired Gavin Hunt knowing Gavin Hunt. So when he said he wanted this and this and this player, at least get more than half of what he requested. But that never happened. So having having said that, guys, it kind of like leaves us in the dilemma to say, but Wim Tae Wong has, got, has made so much promises that he never kept and such has actually led to the team dying in a way or killing the team in a way. So let you and I then get into the conversation below guys and talk about all those situations that are happening at Naturena and perhaps, perhaps that's the reason why Naturena or Kazuchis are not successful it is because of how the team has been handled, how the business in the team has been handled, there's been so much dishonesty in how the business has been handled at Kazuchis so until next time guys, please take care of the truth and before the truth take care of you I love and respect you, I respect you to return the same catches, until next time, let's meet